This is a video on how to use Khan Academy to study for the Science GED. So know that all Khan Academy material is available for free at khanacademy.org. Pass the GED is not endorsed by Khan Academy in any way. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of my approach to the Science GED. I will show you where you can find specific links to Khan Academy exercises to help you get practice for skills that are on the Science GED. I also will show you where there are links to GED released practice tests. And all of this can be found at passtheged.org, which is the website that I will be highlighting throughout this video. So my approach to the science GED is that it's ultimately uh, kind of a reading comprehension test, data analysis. You're going to have to do basic math operations. And then after all of that, you will have to apply some science knowledge. So when I'm working with my students, I often tell them, you know, make sure you're really focusing on your reading comprehension, focus on math. And often times, even though we don't do any science, their science scores go up because the science test uh, relies on the reading comprehension and math skills so much. That being said, there are still some science skills and knowledge that you need, and that's ultimately what this video is about. Where within Khan Academy can you find the skills that uh, are going to be on the science test and, and practice them? All right, so when you go into Khan Academy, you're going to look at the, the exercises. I'm not really highlighting his videos here. I'm highlighting the exercises. And so this is an image of a question. And you can see off to the left, you can see where the, uh, the skill or the exercise is within much bigger picture. So if it, this is a biology question, and you can see where it's related to other bi biology topics. Um, down here at the bottom where it says stuck, watch a video or use a hint. Uh, this is one of the main reasons why I like Khan Academy. So I'm going to highlight this a little bit more. So when you click on that, what will pop up is you can see there are videos that explain the concept. Now it won't be specific to the question that you are um, you're taking at the moment, but um, it will will help you, and you can see this this particular question is tied to four different sorry three videos and one article. Over here is a hint, and the hint is specific to the question. So let me highlight that. So for this particular question, it happens to have three hints, and normally the hints are anywhere between two to six, depending upon the difficulty of the question. And the last hint is the answer. This is one of the main reasons why I really like and encourage Khan Academy, because I find that students often just need a little bit of help. And once they get that, they can actually take it the rest of the way. Khan gives you that opportunity, especially if you're working by yourself and you're not working with a teacher. Okay, this is passtheged.org. This is a, a website that I've put together to help organize Khan Academy and provide some uh, links to different videos to help you. So the video that I'm creating right now will go right here in this empty slot, okay? And how I've organized this is it's the most important stuff at the top. So I think that genetics and experimental design are some of the most important topics for the science test. And you can see there's three, sorry, two different Khan Academy exercises for genetics. There's also two for experimental design. Um, for genetics, I do link to SpongeBob genetics video and worksheet. That's another video that I've made that I, I highly recommend for learning genetics. Uh, if you scroll down, population ecology, cladograms, there's practice tests, uh, and a bunch of other things that I will highlight. So 
In addition to the con exercises that are linked on the right, you can see where I have some videos on the left. These videos are uh, not specific to Khan Academy. It's where I have created a video kind of to, to further explain the GED skill as I think about it and uh, give you some example problems. So I encourage you to watch each of these videos. I, I tried my hardest to make them as short as possible, um, but the videos are a good introduction to the topic. Okay, so I'm just going to dive a little bit deeper into the type of questions that you might see and why I think they're good topics for you to focus on. So the first are genetics, and Khan Academy has an exercise called Introduction to Heredity. This is going to be really good to help you learn the terms like dominant, recessive, heterozygous, homozygous, phenotype, genotype. This is really good for learning the vocabulary. So also within genetics, Khan Academy does Punnett squares and probability really well. Um, I do everything from crossing one trait at, at a time to two different traits. This question that I've highlighted here is actually uh, two different traits at once, which really brings in uh, the skill of knowing probability. Okay, So this is a really good exercise. I often really encourage my students to do many problems with this so that they really can get the skill down. Then, if when you get into experimental design, Khan Academy has an exercise called Scientific Me Method and Data Analysis. And almost all of these questions have students to, to read a diagram or a chart or a table, just like this one is rainfall, and answer the question. This is one of the most called upon skills in the science GED, so very valuable. The next one is experimental design and bias. This is the type of uh, exercise that's going to teach you about independent variable, dependent variable, control, um, controlled variables, or um, constants within an experiment. It's also going to let you know when an experiment isn't fair because something you're not setting it up correctly. This is often how uh, GED science questions are asked as well. Now, population ecology, I can't say for certain that this type of stuff is on the GED. My hunch is, is that it is. Um, having taken a lot of standardized tests that involve science, I know this is a frequently tested topic because it often involves graphs or tables. As you can see here, population ecology, you're often looking at um, the change in the number of, of an organism or an animal over the period of time, so it lends itself to charts. Uh, Khan does this really well, so I encourage you to focus on these. The next one is phylogeny, or these cladograms. They're kind of, in a way, a little bit like family trees, if you will, that show relationship between different organisms because, again, they are often depicted as a diagram. Test makers tend to like them, and so Khan, again, does this very well, and um, encourage you to, to look at that. So here is where you will see the links to the practice test. So the GED has released some test items, and the links that you see here take you to a video of, it's either myself or another teacher, explaining the, the different science tests uh, that GED has released. So really great practice. Um, highly encourage students to, to uh, take these videos. Watch the videos and take the test, sorry. All right, some other things that I recommend as well is just looking at um, graphs, charts, and tables. And so this isn't specific necessarily to the science test. A lot, a lot of these um, could be on the math test or social studies test as well. And so I've highlighted just a few of them that I think do a really good job. Um, and again, um, you can always check the video that I have off to the left here, which is me sort of explaining some of the, the, the highlights that you might see um, for this particular skill. Another thing that comes up frequently on the science GED is mean, median, and mode. Again, Khan does this pretty well, uh, especially the second ones where it's calculating the mean, calculating the median. Those are often in word 
uh, problem format. And so it's really good to make sure you're, you know the difference between the two and you can uh, find the answer easily. So this is some good practice as well. And then I, I've also highlighted this one. I, again, this is another one of these concepts of forces of motion that I can't guarantee that you're going to see on the GED, but it, it, you might. Um, and so if you're looking for a little extra practice, you've got this opportunity here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it valuable and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passtheged.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.